Western Red Cedar Roofing. Natural, beautiful, and durable. Cedar shakes and shingles have been used for hundreds of years and still reign as the top choice for the finest appearance and best protection from the elements. As the only renewable resource for roofing, cedar shakes and shingles are truly in a class of their own. A cedar roof lasts longer and performs better when it's kept clean. And we'd like to offer our manufacturers recommendations for the care and maintenance of Western Red Cedar shakes and shingles. First, let's talk about the properties of Western Red Cedar. It's scientifically classed in the highest category of durability and stability for exterior use. Chemicals called extractives are deposited in the wood as sapwood turns to heartwood, which provide the cedar with its natural decay resistance and durability when exposed to the environment. When planning your installation of new or replacement cedar roofing, it is important to consider the impacts of climate and surroundings. Your local building department can provide guidance for your choice of natural pressure preservative treated or pressure fire retardant treated options. Natural untreated shakes and shingles are fine for medium humidity and rainfall climates and locations which are clear of tree and shade cover. If the roof is in a high rainfall or humidity location or surrounded by trees and shade, specify factory pressure preservative treated shakes which enhance and lengthen the service life by preserving and protecting against rot and termites. This home is in an area that gets a lot of rainfall, so the owner used pressure preservative treated shakes on his re-roof project. The shakes on the rest of the house are about 25 years old and the roof is fairly clean draining properly with no leaks. In a few years the owner is planning to redo the rest of the roof using the preservative premium grade heavy shakes to match. Dry climate and wildland urban interface areas may require fire resistant roofing. Cedar shakes and shingles must pass more rigorous fire testing than any other roofing product. Fire resistant cedar shakes and shingles are available in factory pressure treated class C, B and even the highest class A fire rated systems. Currently only factory pressure treated shakes qualify for national building code recognition. We recommend fire resistant shakes and shingles for all fire hazard areas. Cedar shakes and shingles are also available with hail resistance ratings and are recommended for all hail hazard areas. Western Red Cedar's extractives continue to provide long-term protection even while the surface layer gracefully ages from its new wood color to natural silver gray. Depending on conditions, most roofing products will need periodic care and maintenance. Cedar shake and shingle roofing is easy to clean and proper maintenance will remove debris such as moss, needles and leaves. This will add years of life and performance. We strongly recommend hiring a trained professional for roof maintenance. It is paramount that all safety precautions be followed for this work. Soft-soled shoes, a good ladder properly based, and safety line and harness to protect against falls are all required to avoid injury. And exercise care when walking on the roof to avoid damaging shakes. The first step is to sweep the roof to remove any loose debris. Always work from the top down for best removal of debris. Next, use a flathead screwdriver to clean the keyways or spaces between the shakes. This allows rainwater to flow freely. Then you can sweep off the keyhole debris and hose off the roof. Okay, so after we've done the scraping and brooming, we're going to use a regular garden hose and spray off the rest of the roof. The debris is flowing off very nicely with a standard garden hose and it's not doing any damage whatsoever to the shakes. One thing about it, you'll have to be careful because uh, water makes the shakes slippery and you don't want to fall, so be careful when you're standing on the roof at this point. We'll clean out the gutters after this debris gets uh, run off the roof. 
A real simple way to get rid of mold and moss on your roof is to mix one-third bleach and two parts water and just broadcast it out onto the roof. Let it dry, come back and sweep it off, and you'll get rid of it. Uh, be careful with your bleach as uh, it may go into the groundwater system, so check with local authorities for acceptability. And another way to stop the growth of moss on your roof is to install a zinc strip just under the ridge cap line, exposed by a couple of inches, and it leaches out a mild chemical solution which kills moss. Okay, so here we have a shake that's split over time, over top the shake below it, and so that split over top of a keyway could cause a leak in the future. So we're just going to remove this shake. So we'll slide the removal tool up, catch a nail, and the pieces should come out. And when we put it into place, what we'll do is we'll put our nails in just below where it's going to be exposed at an angle. And then we'll tap the shake up to where it's level with the ones beside it. And then we'll just tap these guys back down and you've got protection again. If you'd like a quicker color change when replacing a shake, you can broadcast a solution of 50% baking soda and water onto the shake. And in a day or so, the shake will turn to a weathered color to match the rest of the roof. As you can see, just a couple hours of easy, simple care and maintenance will add literally decades to the serviceability of your shake roof. Professional services sometimes use high pressure washers. These can be effective, but extreme care must be used because cedar is a soft, low density wood. Excessive or improper use of high pressure systems can detach shakes or erode shake thickness in seconds, causing breakage and leaks. Pressure spraying, even from the top down, can lodge debris under lifted shakes, which will remain damp and actually increase rot. It is crucial that pressure spray companies provide assurances that their methods will not cause these problems. We don't recommend pressure spray cleaning, but the use of low pressure and high water volume can reduce negative impact. Treatment of cedar roofing with sprayed on preservative chemicals such as copper naphthenate can extend the life of the roof and provide temporary color. Scientific studies report that the use of transmission oil, crankcase oil, diesel fluid, paint or chemicals that seal the surface will prevent the cedar from breathing and are definitely not recommended. As well, factory preservative and fire treatment companies advise that their warranties are voided if other chemicals are used on treated shakes and shingles. If your roof is clear of debris, we recommend that it simply be left alone to do its job. It just makes good sense to take care of your cedar shake roof. When my wife and I bought this home in 1983, there was trees on both sides of the house and fir trees to the south which blocked the sunlight from the roof. And so I asked the previous owner had he not given any consideration to care and maintenance as all the keyways were plugged with debris and the valleys were plugged with composted debris that was actually sending up green, green growth. And he said, no, he hadn't given it any thought. So we got busy and cleaned out the keyways and broomed off the roof and sprayed it off just like we described in this video. And we got another 15 years out of the roof. In 1998, we replaced the shake roof with pressure preservative treated medium shakes that have a 50 year warranty against rot. And this roof is doing wonderfully, 
and uh, I don't expect to do any maintenance on it ever from here on in. And uh, with a little care and maintenance, you can get this kind of lifetime expectancy out of your own shake roof. Cedar shakes and shingles are one of the most durable roofing materials available. And with easy care and maintenance, you can add years of service and beauty to your roof.